Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gediminas here. Apologies if you jumped on the first version of this. Something happened, it all flipped on the side, and um, I just hate when that happens. But what can you do? What can you do? It's technology. Sometimes it lets us down. Uh, not to worry, you know, I'm restarting this. So if you're watching a replay of this, you won't know what the heck I'm talking about because I deleted the other one. All right, so if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor, stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're a brand new person, if you've never watched one of my videos, please do me a massive favor and write new in the comments. So so that I know who watched the um, the, for the video for the first time, so that I can say hello to you, I can connect with you, etc. So once again, if you see this, don't worry, I'm alive. I smashed my head into the cupboard, split my head open, loads of blood, me panicking that I'll have to go to A and E get the stitches. Luckily, all went fine. Didn't need the stitches. Good to have a nurse in the home, <laughs> right? So should be okay, you know, should be have a scar, you know, but what can you do, eh? What can you do? These things happen, right? So thanks very much for jumping on, Vikash. Thanks very much, Donatas, Faith. How are you guys doing tonight? If you're watching live, uh, please drop in the comments where you're watching from. Hey, Regina, <laughs> who won? The cupboard won, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the cupboard is still the way it looked before, but my head was not in a, such a good condition. Hey Chico, how are you guys doing? All right, so today we're going to talk about living intentional life. What it is all about? Well, if you want success in life, if you want to succeed in life, hey Debbie, thanks for tuning in. If you want to succeed in life, you have to understand that all success in life everything worthwhile in life is uphill, right? So we had a pleasure of seeing uh, the amazing John Maxwell. Hey, Aurelia. Uh, we had a pleasure of seeing amazing John Maxwell at the GoPro in Las Vegas. And when he came out, he started speaking, he went like that, right? And he stood like that for a while. And he said, everything that is worthwhile in life is uphill. It's hard to get it, right? And the sooner we understand it, hey, Irina, thanks for tuning in. The sooner we understand it, the easier to understand. Worthwhile relationships in hard are hard, are uphill. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be hard, but it's, it's, it's an effort, right? Uh, worthwhile business is going to be an effort. If you want to achieve high results, high uh, success, you have, you're going to have to put in a lot of effort into this. You know, health, good health, again, is effort. You have to put in effort in order to have good health. Bad health comes quite easily, but good health, again, it's an effort. And the only way to go uphill, the only way to achieve those better than usual results, better than normal results, is to become intentional in your life, is to live your life intentionally. Because nobody climbed Mount Everest by mistake. Nobody appeared at 30,000 feet high and go, how did I get here, right? I only went for a walk in a park, right? It doesn't happen, right? Success doesn't happen by mistake. Success happens on purpose. Hey, Ruta, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Carolina, how's it going, right? But the problem is that most people have uphill hopes, but they have downhill habits, right? So they want big things in life. They want big success in life. They want big results in life. But their activity is here. Their effort is here. Their commitment is here. They do something for two days and they quit. They try something and they give up. They do something. You know, I've been traveling a lot. I'm, I'm going to let you in on a secret. <laughs> I've been traveling a lot. You know, we went to uh, America. Then I went to Lithuania. And I've been eating crap. You know, like I usually try to look after what I eat, etc. But just over the last almost, you know, nearly a month, I just been so busy, so much traveling, etc. I just been eating everything, you know, burgers, chips, fast food, etc. And today I stepped on a scales. Actually, yesterday I stepped on a scales, and it shocked me. You know, my weight has gone up to a place where it hasn't been up in a long time. You know, so. I don't know how many of you have seen a documentary called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. If you've never seen it, go on YouTube, watch it. It's going to change your life. So, so today I decided, you know what? I'm going to go on a juicing fast. So all of today, 
I haven't had anything to eat. All I did, I've been drinking juice, right? So different, like I, 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 you know, spinach, kale, you know, carrots, beetroot, you know, lemons, oranges, apples, you know, not everything in once. I've had like, I don't know, five, four or five uh, juices today and I just mix a bunch of stuff, you know, and I, and I, and I just drunk juice all day long, you know, no, no crap eating, no oils, no fats, no nothing, just, just juice to re sort of reboot my body and to detox a bit, you know, but it's effort. It's not easy. You know what? Did I want to eat food today? Absolutely. Did it? Could I destroy some hamburgers and some chips and some pizza? Definitely. You know, and when I, you know, when kids got, got back from school, when they eat, you know, their chicken and things like that, you know, it smells nice and I wanted to eat it too. But I know that for my health, I need to reboot. I need to go back to healthier eating habits because I want to have good health. I want to live a long life. I want to, so I know it's going to be uphill. I know it's going to be hard, but I still do it. I still do it because uh, I know anything worthwhile is going to be uphill. So I, I understood it from in the morning when I got up, I knew it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to have a day of, of juicing. And actually not just one day. I, actually, I'm going to do a couple of days of just drinking juice, not eating any food, you know? So, you know, if you look for excuse, you find one you like, but if you decide that you want to do something, then you have to understand that there's going to be a price to pay. If you want a success in business, you're going to have to pri have a price to pay. If you want a good health, there's going to be a price to pay. If you want good relationships, there's going to be a price to pay. Nothing comes for free. Nothing worthwhile comes easy, right? Unintentional life is when you have downhill habits. You know, if you have unintentional life, then that's where you just let your diet go. You just let your weight go. You just smoke, drink alcohol. You don't work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, right? <laughs> Zeppel oh my God. Don't, don't start me on that, Dale. Don't start it on Zeppeline. That's, you know, that's a heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> right? So most people, they don't plan their life. They just accept their life. They settle for their life. Right? And as, as soon as you accept your life, as soon as you settle for your life the way it is, then it's game over. You know, you have no way of progressing. You have no way of changing anything because you just settle. You just accept. You just go with the flow. And if you go with the flow, again, you know where you're going to uh, end up, you know, because if you don't act, you know, when you're in, when you, when you're in activity, when you're in action mode in your business, you're going uphill. But if you stop your activity... You know, if you're network marketing, if you stop recruiting, if you stop uh, selling, if you stop working with your team members, you don't just stay in the same place. You don't just go plateau, you go downhill, right? So if you're working, you're going uphill. But I'll, the problem with a lot of people, they work, 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 stop working, go wow. Again, they work, 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 they go wow. And that's what they do. And the problem is that you go downhill much faster than you go uphill. So if you work for three days and take one day off, you go back to where you were. <laughs> then work for three days, don't work for one day, you go back to where you were. And if you let weeks and months go by, then you completely destroy your progress, you destroy your momentum. So you have to understand that everything worthwhile is uphill, but once you accept it, it's easier. Don't fight it. Don't try to fight it. Don't go, oh my gosh, why it's so hard? Why it's so difficult? Why am I having all of these challenges? You're in the gym. You're in the gym of life. You know, and when you go to the gym, is it easy? Nah, it's hard on your muscles. It's hard on your body. But that's what makes you stronger. That's what makes you better. That's what makes you more whatever, right? So same in life. Life is like a gym. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But you ha if you accept that, then, hey, I know life is, is like a gym and it's going to be tough. There's going to be challenges, etc. But I know that in advance. I accept it. Then I don't whinge. I don't complain. I don't moan. I just go, hey, it's part of it. It's part of the game, right? There's good days, bad days, etc. Hey, Alex. Hey, Neringa. Thanks for tuning in, right? So once you accept that, it becomes a lot easier to go through those challenges, to go through those difficulties, because you know it's just part of the deal, right? Because you know it's uphill, because you know that the best stuff is on top of the hill. You know, the best view is from the top of the mountain, right? So you have to give you, make yourself a decision that you're either going to be at the top, you know, or, you know, you're not going to give up. You know, you're not coming back until you get there, right? So intentional life is deliberate. You know, it's on purpose. 
You know, you have to take responsibility for whatever happens to you. You know, whether you succeed or fail, it's down to you. It's not down to anybody else, not to any person, not to any situation. It's up to you. If it's to be, it's up to me, right? Number two, intentional life is consistent. You know, I've been going on about consistency a lot and I will keep going on about consistency because I believe it's one of the most important things in business and in life. Consistency. If you're consistent, if you do the same thing over and over and over and over again, it's almost impossible not to get results. It's almost impossible not to get a breakthrough. It's almost impossible not to progress. You know, if you want to recruit and you start talking to people every single day, you're going to get a result. If you want to recruit on social media and you start using social media every single day, you're going to get a result. If you start doing Facebook Lives and do it every single day, you're going to start getting results. Almost everything will work if you stay consistent. But you see, the biggest problem in business is patience. It's patience. Most people are not patient enough for things to happen. They want the millions yesterday. They want the success tomorrow. They want the brand new, you know, all the great results next week. And it doesn't work like that. You have to have patience, right? And be consistent. So have patience and keep doing the action even when it doesn't look like you're getting a result. That's the toughest one. And I know it. It's the toughest one. When you do the whole day of activity and not a single person said yes to you, not a single person joined your team, not a single person bought your product. I know it's tough, but what if you have a week of those? Sometimes you'll have weeks. You have the whole week. You do activity, 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 and there's nothing. It looks like it's not working. Hey, Renata. Hey, Mark. How are you guys doing? Right? This is the toughest time. But discipline is doing the things you need to do even after the initial excitement has gone, right? So I know when you first get excited, you're excited. It's easy to do the activity. It's easy to do the action. But once you've been in for a while, that initial excitement has gone, now kicks in the discipline. And you have to stay in the activity. You have to stay in the consistent activity every single day if you want to get the results. And most people, unfortunately, they give up too easily. They give up too quickly and then they go, ah, the business doesn't work. Ah, the product doesn't work. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, I'm not smart enough. I promise you, you are everything enough. You're smart enough. You're good enough. You're beautiful enough. You're everything enough. If only you stick to it. If only you stay consistent at it and you'll see the results. You'll see the results, I promise you. And the last last thing, intentional life is willful. You know, so you have to be willing to do things. You have to be willing to go the extra mile. You have to be willing to, you know, work hard. You have to be willing to go through the challenges because, again, that's part of the deal. That's part of becoming successful, okay? So that's really my message for today of intentional life. Start living intentional life. Start living on purpose, you know, in terms of your business, in terms of your health, in terms of your relationships. If you want something to change, go change it. Don't just whinge about it. Don't just complain about it. Don't just moan about it, right? That's not going to change anything. Moaning about it. I've never seen anybody moan their way to success. I've never seen anybody complain their way to success. I've never seen anybody strike their way to success. You know, you can go and strike and increase the minimum wage, but you're not going to go and strike to a million dollars a year, right? That's not going to work. The only way to do that is to become willing and to become intentional, okay? Hope you got value from this training. Thanks very much for your love, guys. Thanks for all the thumbs up and all the hearts and everything. I really appreciate it. Love you all. If you got value from this, feel free to share it with other people. But if you do share this video, please say something. Say something why you're sharing it, you know? So if you share it on your channel or in a group, say, hey, I like this video because of that or because of this, etc. And if you're already in home-based business and you'd like to learn how to sell more products and get more customers, then head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk slash sales where you're going to get a free training from me on 26 different ways how to find customers and sell more products. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your evening. Love you loads. See you at the top. Bye for now.